Hey, it's your favorite real estate agent. I'm Chris Willow Williams with the Go Getter team here in Metro Atlanta, giving you your monthly market update for May. The big thing that everyone's watching right now is what is the president and Congress going to do about the debt ceiling? If they default on the loans, it will cause ca catastrophe in the market. You'll essentially see all of the interest rates spike, property values will go down, and also the stock market will go down. So it's believed that they will likely come to a deal before the time limit, which is June 1st, and we can expect them to smooth out their differences and keep the economy and the government moving. Now, it's particularly sensitive this year because we're in this cycle where they're raising interest rates at the Federal Reserve, and we see all of the interest rates for mortgages up year over year. We're talking about six and a half to 6.75 interest rates for conforming loans, and that's a big deal. What we expect to see is them, for them to come to a deal and then we expect to watch what happens with the Fed at the beginning of June. So it's kind of like a bam, bam, bam thing because last month in April we had a Fed meeting. Now we've got the debt ceiling. Then we're going to have another Fed meeting. Now, local numbers, two months inventory is still on market, which means that it's still a very tight market. The number of properties that have been listed to sell has continued to go down. So we've seen a downtick in that, and that is keeping our prices stable and slightly above where they were in 2022. Everyone expected an immediate uh, crash of the market or something just because interest rates went up. And that was an incorrect assumption because so many people got great interest rates that they're holding on to their homes. And we see foreclosures ticking up a little bit, but not significantly enough to cause any panic. In fact, the foreclosure rate is still way well below what it was in the early 2000s, which is a really solid place to be and pretty much close to what would have been a normal year in like a 2003 or 2004. So moving forward, we anticipate that the Fed is going to hold the interest rates, but we think that because there's a lot going on with commercial real estate that the interest rates at the banks will be higher than what they would have been while they worked that out so we'll continue to see about this pace and then at the end of the year maybe a taper off i'm chris willow williams again if you have questions about real estate in metro atlanta we're the team to go to we keep you informed and we also give you sound advice based on your particular situation